Well, let's try this example. Um, so here we have a reaction, O3 gas plus O gas forms 2O2 gas. The activation energy forward is 19 kilojoules. Delta H for the reaction is negative 392 kilojoules. So here's our tasks. We have to draw the reaction energy diagram. We have to postulate the transition state. And we have to calculate the activation energy in the reverse direction. Okay, um, so this is what the diagram would look like. I actually noticed that my first diagram wasn't to scale, so I kind of fixed it a little bit. Notice that this should be a lot smaller than this. We don't have to get this perfect, but we can kind of qualitatively show that the activation energy is small relative to this. Uh, one thing they asked for the, was the reaction energy diagram. Well, here we do. We have that. Um, it's exothermic because this is negative. So this level has to be below this level, but the hump isn't uh, bigger than both of them. Uh, we want to find Ea reverse, which would be this distance here. I'm not even going to use this equation because I can just do this kind of just by looking at this. If this distance is 392 and this distance is 19, how would I find this? I, guess I would just add these, right? So you could just plug into this equation, but I, I get more intuition by just looking at the diagram. So 392 uh, plus 19 is uh, 411, is that right? 411 kilojoules. I noticed that a few of you carefully changed that into joules. But in this case, we can just keep with kilojoules because we're not going to be doing anything with that number. So we don't actually have to change to joules here. We might as well stick with kilojoules since we're not doing anything with the numbers. Uh, this is in kilojoules, so I can leave this in kilojoules. Is that what you got? 411 kilojoules? Okay. Activation energies are always positive, so I don't need to worry about that sign. Uh, this distance is 392, but of course, as a delta H, it would be negative 392. Okay. Uh, so that gave us this. Now maybe the hard part here was postulating the transition state. Um, well, let's see. Over here we have O3 and oxygen. Um, maybe the best thing to do here is draw the Lewis diagram for O3, if you remember how to do that from last semester. 
How many valence electrons does a free oxygen have? Pardon? Seven. No, six, six, six. Oxygen is in the sixth column of your periodic table. So it has six. So three of them would have 18. So if I put in two bonds, that uses up four electrons, which leaves me with 14. Then I can put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 around the outer atoms. That leaves two electrons for the central atom. Well, I want everyone to have an octet. How can I have this have an octet? Well, I need to take this lone pair and make it into another double bond. That tells us that ozone has one double bond and one single bond. So over here I have an ozone with one double bond and one single bond. All right, and then over here we're forming oxygens. Well, if you go through the Lewis structure, you'll see that oxygen has, two, has one double bond. And we're going to form two equivalents. So over here we're going to have two equivalents of oxygen. So over here I would draw the one equivalent of ozone and the one equivalent of oxygen atoms. And over here I'm going to draw the two equivalents of oxygen molecules. Um, so what's going on up here? It's going to be one uh, double bond, but also does attached to the, um, instead of a bond, it will be dots. Yeah, because a single bond Where this used to be a single bond, it's yeah. now a breaking bond. Yeah. Yeah. Because this is losing one of the oxygens. Mm -hmm. And then it's not going to the lone oxygen, so it's going to form a bond. And this oxygen over here is still around, and that bond is forming. So this would be the best way to postulate a transition state, as they say. This bond is breaking and this bond is forming. Uh, and then you can see how we're going to end up with two oxygens with double bonds. OK, so that's a pretty typical type of question. Uh, so we found this. We postulated the transition state. And we drew the reaction energy diagram.